Pretty interesting stuff on the street, buddy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that Joe in the fucking juice. <laughs> What's the name of this street again? Log of a Guru. Yeah, and we got Snow Just Guitar, yeah. A lot of uh, common names. Well, I'm not sure if I should be. You've seen like those um, just for laugh gags where they go like through these little. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. Where they, and then they just like pop I've seen out it. from nowhere. Yeah, I've seen this. I'm not used to these, man. In Lethbridge, there's nothing like this. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> single gloves. <laughs> speed dating. It says single glove speed dating. You leave a glove and you take a glove or something? Very interesting. Interesting stuff here. Yeah. In Iceland, uh, different methods of speed dating. We got Tinder over in Canada and uh, in most places, but. Look at the road, guys. Like, there's one car and it's filling out like one third of the road. So I'm not sure if there's when, if there's one car coming from the other side. Is this a one way? Well, that's the thing. In Iceland, there's like one street and it's one way. So oh, you only okay. go one way in Iceland, man. Oh, okay. Never mind. You come in, you don't go out. No, no. This makes sense. It's one <laughs> way. But uh, they have some pretty interesting colors. You see, yeah. Some of the houses might be the gay neighborhood. There's a little like, rainbow on that house. <laughs> places in Iceland that you're not supposed to shop at, like especially 10-11 it's called or something. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to go there because it's so expensive, so we're actually looking for a cheap uh, grocery store. Yeah. We might just keep walking until we find it. Shit. Maybe we should ask. Um, I'm about to. I'm about to. Because, well it wouldn't make sense for there to be a cheap grocery store in the street, right? Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I remember it from my last trip here, so that's that's why I'm thinking that. But we passed like quite a few restaurants and shit. This is a hotel, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's the street. Loud good figure. Loud good figure. Pronounce that, guys. <laughs> Log of a good figure. Well, that, 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 Chuck Norris Grill. Don't see it. Chuck Norris Grill. Look at this view. Wow. Got a nice shop called I Don't Speak Icelandic. Yeah, let's go there. These are the kind of shops I need. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're getting to the end of the street. <laughs> I mean, it's not that long, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't look right. We're getting to the sketchy part of town. I don't know about sketchy, but then again, where would a cheap grocery store be? The sketchy part of town. <laughs> Maybe we're doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm taking like a nice third person view of you. Okay. So people, are, you, you look like a GTA character. <laughs> Just following, yeah, this is great. <laughs> First person shooter. Alright, I'm gonna walk into the next store. Ask him what's up. Where's my bonus? They're gonna say, oh, it's 15 minutes the other way. Yeah, 15 minutes back there, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm right, see? Oh, I'm right. Shit. I'm right. <laughs> Try to tell me we're in the sketchy part of town. That's exactly where we're trying to be. We're in, guys. Let's, let's look at these prices. <laughs> Just walk into the. Alright, this can't store baby. Alright, let's start here. Campers. For when I play Geary and shit my pants. <laughs> we could. Let's hope you play Geary. We can worry about the. Pants thing yeah, later. Yeah, chance for a draw. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure we don't need no, any of this. Looking for some, uh, maybe some Clorox. <laughs> yeah. Discount store. I guess they have everything in there. Okay, the men's aisle. Okay. 
Don't need this. Oh, bananas. Great. Probably gonna get some Let's look at these prices. Um, what's something... Dude, these are all supposed to be pretty cheap though. I don't think you can compare this stuff. Let's look, one I think second. I need a cart. You know what I mean? Let me look at this ketchup. Three fifty nine. So that's like four dollars Canadian. Three three fifty ish USD. Yeah, bring a cart and I'll just. So I need I need some like probably two sources of protein. So you, can you just like put them separately? So oh, that's fine, man. It's one basket. The We're all chest bras here. Alright. So never buy bottled water because it's tap water. So yes. Never do that. Um, but what I will buy probably some uh, Coke and the various various chasers. I will not be drinking that. You're not a Coke guy. Oh, I am, but not when I travel. Ooh. Gotta keep uh, gotta keep it somewhat clean. Here, maybe we should. I don't respect that. Man, they're really trying to sell me water here. <laughs> like they think I don't know, you know? <laughs> they're trying to get me on that. It's not gonna happen. All right, let's probably get this. Look at the price. It's seventy-eight. Is this digital? We don't have this in Canada. I don't know. Do you like scan it and it just buys it for you? That'd be hype. Well, That'd no, they. Hype. How do they even change it? I, I guess it's from the back, right? <laughs> That's gonna be the future. Like that Amazon stuff? Just, yeah, yeah. Just walk out of the place. You don't want some uh, steak? Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> I like to beat a different kind of meat. <laughs> This is the unhealthy section. Yeah, let's go. Um, I was looking more for some like peanuts or something. I'm, def I'm definitely on like maybe some cereal or something. Oh, oh grow old bars, that's what I'm saying. I have my protein, so I don't need this either. Definitely gonna be hitting up some of these. Don't buy too much, we have like 30 protein bars. Yeah, but you guys stay stocked, my friend. Nature Valley, it's a nice brand. Cheerios I'm a little keen on, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely not going to be buying milk, so... Why not? We have a fridge. Yeah. You need, and, and I'm gonna but now, yeah, now you need like so this. So now, dude, I'm going to be putting these Cheerios in like a wine glass, and I'm going to put the milk in the wine glass. That's a that's a pretty quaint breakfast, if I do say so myself. That's pretty quaint. Fit for a chess player, yeah. I think we should get to the bread aisle. Yep, this is freaky. Oh. Some pasta. Is this pasta? No. So this is like... Hmm... It's like three dollars, I think. No, no, like two twenty USD. Where is Amon? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. For reference, four seventeen krona, kroner. Very expensive. Actually, well, this isn't that bad.
Oh, I heard a lot of good things about these. Oh, I'm definitely getting this. Yeah, I'll take one too. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, this was very really good. What flavor you want, man? It's so um, whatever you get. Yo, this looks sick. Unfortunately, it's like expensive. Oh, I need to buy these for my brother or something. Yo, these are pretty dope, right? Cooling rocks? That's what, uh, that's what we need here, boys. Cooling rocks. Ah, look, we have a representation of the Icelandic room. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Nice to, nice to see that here. <laughs> nice live reenactment. Moj, when, uh, when they see you, I think that's exactly <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dope. It almost looks like a chess girl logo. Whoa. Pretty close. It's decent. Yeah. You know, considering it's... Uh, you know, thrift shop. Nice one. <laughs> This is for, uh, this is drink like a Viking. You could buy this for Eric or something. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. Rip off. Rip off Starbucks logo. Yeah, what the hell? Your first round go. Hey man, play the London system. When you play the London system and you checkmate your opponent, it's a good feeling right there. <laughs> she was thinking, she was tanking like on like what, like tenth move. That, that's good. I like to, I like to see that that uh, you know, slow pace, respectful chess. Not so what? Not this fast paced, you know, no no thinking chess. Uh, it was good. Was good. Okay, that's good. So what ended up happening? You just like she Overwhel like give us some moves yeah. like. Overwhelming attack, just uh, London system turned into kingside attack with all the mission. Hi everyone, how's it going? So I know I didn't really introduce myself um, in the previous scene, so apologize for that. Um, so I'll start that now. Many of you probably know I'm a left wrist chess on Twitch. Um, I go by Moj. So I'm going to be the man behind uh, the scenes here in Reykjavik. I'll be doing most of the filming. Um, for So today is round two. Aman and Michael are already already started. I'm going to show you guys around the venue here. It's beautiful. Um, so I'll turn around. Behind me you can see lots of mountains. 
very nice out here. And I'll show you uh, Harpa, which is the main tournament venue for Reykjavik 2017. This is Harpa, what I was talking about. It's a very nice building. Um, from the outside, it's almost all glass. Um, so we'll get in here. I'll show you guys uh, step by step what it looks like as you enter the venue. Um, Aman is playing a 2100 right now, I think. And uh, Michael has a really big game. He's playing uh, Musician. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he's like 2670 Fide. So I can't talk much, so I'll be quiet and I'll just show you guys around. So this is where most of the commentary happens. I'll show you guys what it looks like behind the scenes. Um, Simon Williams and Fiona. Michael has a big game today, so hopefully he does well. So Oman, how did it go? Just played a fucking okay, 70 year old who hasn't played chess in 30 years. <laughs> really? Yeah, Peter Murray. Um, I don't really know who that guy is, but the guy played very, very well, very yeah. decent, extremely well actually. Um, 30 years off and come back and play like that with no theory or anything. Very impressive. So um, I won, which, which I, happy about but uh, the guys the guy did play very well yeah it was like like i saw the position he won back like you were two pawns up but he won one back yeah but you had the P b pawn and the king was too far right this guy uh was very resilient that that's the main thing i was never worried to lose and i always felt like i had a slight edge but never seen someone uh stick it in there you know like uh, the old guard he really uh <laughs> held the gates tight shut but i think that's what usually happens like when you're when you come back after like 30 years, you really want to like go all out, especially when you're playing like an IM, right? Yeah, maybe. maybe. So you just yeah, overperform. Yeah, Kings Indian, so it was a fun game. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. For sure. So that's fine. Um, so I you're probably going to get on a top board tomorrow? I don't know what top board. No, no, I mean like a live board. a live board, board yeah, think, yeah. for sure. Um, that's good. So yeah, two and a half points. Finally get a tough game tomorrow, which is, which is what we're here for. Yes, exactly. Okay, so yeah, where's Kleinman? I think we're waiting on Kleinman. I don't know if we're gonna get food. Yeah, I don't know where he is, but uh, he won his game as well, so he's at yeah. two out of three. And um, it's almost ten right now. It's Thursday, now. so we're gonna Friday and Saturday. We're gonna yeah. Today was a double round. We're gonna chill out. Uh, you know, get. 
get some social activities going, uh, fucking put this mini fridge to use, which mm -hmm. is very stocked. Um, but so far we had the first day where everyone's tired and we had the double round day. So it's been kind of busy so far, but mm -hmm. now it's going to be like one game a day. Yeah, it's good that you got this over it's with. Gonna, it's going to yeah. chill out. So looking forward to the rest of the tournament and uh, some of the side events like the Blitz and soccer and stuff like that. So it should be mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to uh, the Iran lecture. The Iran lecture, yeah. I heard you were giving it, actually. Joint lecture with Dorsa. <laughs> Isn't that right, Moj? I don't know, man. So, guys, uh, this is a view from our room, by the way. Views from the six. Um, yeah, the weather is really weird. Like, today, even, like, when you were playing, it was, like, it snowed. Well, for, like, you know, it's an international holiday today. Yeah, yeah. It's That's the why there were so many summer. people, yeah. So, it's an international holiday for the first day of summer, and it was snowing in the morning. The, I mean, <laughs> only in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, the weather here, guys, it's, it could be snowing in, like, one minute, and then the next minute you look outside, and there's, like, the sun is out. It's extremely weird. I've never seen anything like it. But, um, yeah, guys, we're going to, I don't know, get some food and then go to bed, probably. Yeah. So... Check in with you guys probably tomorrow. Guys, we are here with uh, Mr. Michael Kleinman. Look at this. This is beautiful. Any uh, any thoughts? Uh, <laughs> this is absolutely incredible here. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a different, uh, different planet. Hundred degrees Celsius, by the way, the water here. Michael has a round in <laughs> an hour and a half, and here we are, like. An hour okay, and a half okay. from Reykjavik. <laughs> yeah, this is your preparation. Clearing, clearing the head. <laughs> you just lost the steam over there. <laughs> Guys, I couldn't get Amon to come with me. He's busy preparing for Mr. Shirov. 2700 feet day. Hopefully you can have a good game. Yeah, this is great. This is great. That's a perfect fit. Can you snap one and then I'm recording. Oh, we'll recording. get you on the way back. Okay. I don't want to stop this. <laughs> Whoa. If I drop my phone in there, it's gone. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Oh, so so you bad. You can't get the smell on video. Oh, it's sulfur. Here you go ahead. Guys, the video just isn't doing any justice. People are uh, in the water over there too. Taking a nice bath. Okay. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed just some little scenery here in Iceland. Um, wish you could see it in per person because it's 10 times better. But yeah, check in with you guys later, maybe before the round today. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so Amon is playing Alexei Shirov right now. Um, he's He's like 2,700 feet a. Uh, um, it's position right now is looking like a draw. I'm looking at it live, and it's it's not uh, too clear if Shirov is going to push for a win. Um, meanwhile, I think Michael Kleinman is playing an Icelandic 2,100. Obviously, very dangerous. Um, they're extremely unrated, so um, he's going to try his best to win, of course. But we'll see. So I'm going to go check in with them all. I'll try and get some video of um, Amon playing 
Let's take shear off and we'll see how it goes. Nice work, buddy. Holy, you played so well. <laughs> Shaking up to that one. That was ridiculous. Oh, man. I offered him a draw. He, he, he declined. When did you offer a draw? Like when he was thinking for almost an hour. Really? And he declined. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. man, holy, I was so nervous. I am um, going to go out and get some fish in Iceland mm -hmm. to celebrate with the boys, but uh, winning with black against Jurov is very, very impressive, so uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, of course. Your I'm best happy. I, I, I played some some theory or some oh. stuff that I looked at recently, so you know, it feels, it feels kind of good, you know, do a little bit of work and it pays off, so. Mm -hmm. And in your interview you said your best win ever? Ever. Yeah. ever. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's 26.93 right now and I just mm -hmm. beat him with black, so that's, that's by far my best win. Okay, so how much how much percent of that win do you accredit to me being here? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to accredit uh, 5%. Okay, I'll take it. I, I have some other percents that I have to accredit to many, many different things. Mm -hmm. well, I'll give you a good five there, buddy. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. And uh, actually, guys, today was the first day I wore my chest brush shirt, so... Yeah, definitely I, give a good five percent to that. Yeah, and so I, I got some uh, got some comments on it, too, so we'll okay. take it. Good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wearing my chest bra uh, stuff now that I'm going to be on top board. But yeah, me too. Um, I don't know if I can ever take my shirt off. I don't know if you'll let me. I don't know if I can take my underwear off. Might auction this off. Guys, this is our celebratory meal. Um, GM Norm meal. Cheers. Michael Kleiman, you won too? I didn't update on you. I didn't do an update on you. No. You won? How was your game? How was your game? Yeah. Uh, we, had a, we had a fairly equal position. Uh, I got low on time so and he, he made some sort of committal move. Mm -hmm. What did you? Well, by, by the time I made time control. What did you prepare made... for? Time enough? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you've been preparing for the time enough for the past like four games, and you haven't been getting one. Did you get one? This is, this is going online. What? Yeah. No, no. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't get a time enough. <laughs> this pond will one day become a queen. I will make sure of that. There's a blitz tournament in 30 minutes in Harpa. Maybe not today. <laughs> um, just show you guys the view here. I think I've shown it before, but it's very nice outside. Me and uh, Mr. Kleinman went hiking today. Can you tell us a bit about uh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, specifically uh, to your uh, shoes and mine. So we were walking to the hot springs and mm -hmm. uh, the path was pretty muddy. There's a uh, oh, in Iceland there's steam that comes out of the ground. And basically, <laughs> yeah. basically everything is wet. So uh, yeah, everything is wet. So we were walking through uh, through mud. Mm -hmm. And you got, yeah, and we messed up the friggin' bathroom here. We took us like 30 minutes to clean. Um, now we have to work on this mess over here. And can you show them what's happening over there behind you? Don't cross your camera. Yeah. This is pretty standard oh, for a tournament bro. though. Yeah, it's standard, <laughs> but, yeah, it's standard. but I've never seen it before because I don't play tournaments. So yeah. you can't really blame me. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, tournament after a couple of days. Uh, really, really, uh, all right, all right. Sacrifice what these. 
Let's catch the opening moves of this next game. 909, we got a few more in us. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see how it is. I see the, the Shiro. Play a fucking time. The Shiro <laughs> specialty. Oh yeah, looks familiar. Yeah, this looks familiar. I'm not going to uh, follow into his footsteps. <laughs> oh, playing, Queen D3. Playing this, uh, Interesting. Oh, we're gonna play on uh, Nexus 6. Similar when you play against uh, Arabic, Yeah, but he, he wouldn't play uh, G4. This is a promotion or. What is it? It's South Korean. How much was that? 500,000 chronos? Or? I have no idea what it costs. I got us a gift. I would never buy this in my life. <laughs> you think you're being fed right now? <laughs> where have I seen this before? <laughs> I wonder where it's gonna go next. Similar ideas. I'm just gonna take this bitch and play this one. Alright, alright. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, that's a check, man. Uh, ah, I see where Oh, ah, that's ah, just done. Can't. It's over. It's not over. What were you saying? Oh, man. The whole game, I'm just like, maybe, maybe slightly worse, or at least we had the mutual feeling that this was true. And all of a sudden. You were almost always better. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. I, we both had the opinion that I was slightly worse, and <laughs> I should never be losing with this pawn structure and with the bishops, but. Once I played h5, I suddenly realized I'm completely winning, like on, on the spot. And we both had this realization in the same moment. And we both, and he, I mean, he lost in like a couple moves after. Yeah, it was so like, it felt like such an easy win. Like, it was just game over. Yeah. I've never had a game like that where my evaluation was. King so g3 was really accurate. Was it was so really nice. Yeah, because he has some d4 yeah. tricks. Yeah. And then you had to, you went to king, you went to h4, right? Where was it h4? It was h4. I went to h4 after I was up. Yeah, which was, again, very accurate. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go to the commentary room, or? Sure, yeah. We'll, see we'll probably we'll get you in there. Kleinman won too, hey? Yeah, Kleinman no, won. What win the this hell? Game. We're just everyone's speaking today. Kleinman won absolutely. Not sure if it was our uh, morning walk or the, the no. chicken. It might have been the chicken, <laughs> but it's definitely the uh, no protein bar. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back in the room. Um, we just uh, chess bras went two out of two today. Both Amon and Kleinman won today. Holy crap, everyone's peaking. Big day. Huge yeah. day, honestly. Like two two massive upsets. Really yeah, it was nice. ridiculous. Like and Amon's game was extremely easy, but Kleinman's was like even easier. At least not I, but when I say easy, I mean it looked easy. But of course you had to calculate a lot of things and you had like an amazing tactic at the end, stacking a rook and stuff. But <laughs> and Amon's game, so what were you saying? You were saying that you thought you were I were, thought I was not Considerably worse, but maybe slightly worse. Just the kind that's sort of nagging, yeah, yeah. Annoying, but nothing terrible. Like I was gonna lose, but uh, it felt like you know you get low on time, you start making mistakes that can compound, and you know I had my hallucinations of losing for sure. Yeah, and my opponent had, had a similar similar feeling, so I guess we totally just misevaluated the the position, and there mm -hmm. was a moment where we both like our brains switched on, and we were both like, oh, Weiss is winning, and then I won like. Very easily after that. Yeah, and at one point you were like down 20 minutes, right? He was like at 50 minutes yeah, and you were like... Yeah, I was like down 30. a good 20, 30 minutes for yeah. most of this game. Although, it's not like yeah. it's a difficult position, so I was never worried about time and I don't think it ever played a serious factor. Mm, that's good. What about you, Michael? Uh, Just a quick recap of the game. You, Your opponent played a Grunfeld, right? And you weren't yeah, expecting he played, it. Yeah, he played into the Grunfeld. Yeah, uh, yeah he... Either or play. sorry, yeah, your opponent played d4, which allowed you to play the Grunfeld. Exactly. Yeah. He, uh, I guess he sort of prepared for a line I had played. I, I assume in a in a previous tournament. Mm -hmm. I think I think the game was probably in 2013 or something, mm -hmm. so a, a while ago. But uh, I guess he wasn't too familiar with the structures. He he had a nice center. He was advancing his d and e pawn, mm -hmm. but they ended up becoming a little weak. Yeah. So. And he didn't even end up castling, right? His yeah, king so was in the center, which he allowed... Made, he, made a, he also made a lot of moves with his queen. Yeah. So even though he, my pawn structure was was crippled after he played e6, I mm -hmm. uh, had enough peace play. Mm -hmm. So it was... That's it good. Was, it was okay. And then, yeah, towards the end, there was sort of the nice way to... Yeah, guys, you should definitely check that out. It was an amazing sacrifice. He sacrificed the rook, and then he was able to mate with two knights. Um... 
Really, really nice game. And yeah, they were saying that it's like the best game of the tournament so I think, far. I think that's definitely a, a no <laughs> uh, Basically, they found a maiden in three or four. <laughs> yeah, but. It's aesthetic. Yeah, yeah but so yes, it's, it's, yeah. It's very pleasing, and there hasn't been that, that many attacking games this tournament. So, exactly, I mean, yeah. it's not a stretch to say that it's the nicest game so far. I think it's a bit of a stretch. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice tactic, but. I think it's sort of that. The, the attack sort of, the moves came quite just, easily. I didn't have yeah, any, yeah. anything that extra. It's just it intuitive. More or less. Though. Yeah, yeah. So what are you on right now? Four, four out of five. Four out of five. You just lost one to who? Uh, to Mosesian. Oh, and yeah, yeah, okay. Two. Yeah. And what about you, Amon? You are on... At four and a half right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely the best start to a tournament I've had. Maybe ever, but definitely in a long time. Yeah. Guys, so this is this is the midpoint of the tournament. We're right at half or five rounds out of ten are over. What's the date today? April twenty second. April twenty second, and the tournament ends on the twenty seventh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we have five more days to go. Yeah, one um, day is definitely definitely nice. Yeah, it's really you're nice. Like you're rested. You're uh, eating enough. Yeah, there's yeah. No inconvenience. You're prepped. So it's exactly. It's yeah. Thank God you guys got through the two rounds. That was kind of scary, but. Now that you're 